welcome to Science with Sydney. Today we'll be talking about the chemistry behind whipped cream. First of all, what is cream? Cream is the fat-enriched part of milk. Particles called flat go fat go globules are suspended in a water-based solution called milk. When fresh milk is left undisturbed, the fat globules will float to the top and can be skimmed off to make cream. When cream is whipped, a large amount of air is injected into the cream, shown here in red, and the phospholipid membranes of the fat globules begin to break apart due to the high vibration of the oxygen molecules. This will expose the fatty acids called triglycerides. Triglycerides are water-fearing, so they scramble to stick together around air bubbles, which are neutral. This creates a structure of air bubbles surrounded by triglycerides, which makes a slightly solid structure called whipped cream. So why can't we do this with other liquids, like orange juice or coffee? In order for cream to be whipped, it needs a 30% or higher fat content. If there is less fat, there will not be a noticeable difference in texture when the fat globules are broken apart and the triglycerides bond together. However, there are some liquids that you can turn into whipped cream because of their high fat content, such as coconut milk or almond milk. And there you have it, all the chemistry behind the delicious topping that makes your Sunday extra special.